Hi Malika. Hi Harley. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Hi, episode guys. of Sonda and Salt. This week we have Switzerland and Austria. Austria. Guten Tag. Joining the conversation. No, it's Guten Morgen. Oh, is that Good Morning? That's morning. Okay, yeah. Guten Tag. Guten Tag, good day. Yeah. I think that is now countries 45 and 46. Wow. I might have got the numbers wrong last week, but it's definitely 46 this week. So 45 and 46, when I'll be listening to 46 countries. Thank you guys nice. so, so much for rocking with us. If you are listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, please don't forget to rate and review wherever you, you can. Subscribe to us on YouTube where you can get the full episodes every single week. Um, TikTok, Instagram. Yeah, TikTok, Instagram at Sonder and Soul yeah. on both of those platforms. Both of our personal Instagrams and stuff are in the description of every yeah. episode. Um, so have a look down there. We're always sharing stuff on Instagram. Well, I'm always sharing stuff on Instagram. Yeah. So. If you want extra context to the stuff that we talk about, yes. it's best that you follow us on Instagram. Yep. Yeah. Cool. What 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 are you sharing this week? What's your food highlights of the week? Right. What, what so, you been up to? <laughs> my food highlight is something that I've recently tasted and I've been having a couple of times since. So I've got quite a few Nigerian friends. Okay. Yeah, I've got quite a few Nigerian friends. My best friend is Nigerian. Um and most of my friends are either Ibo or Yoruba. Mm-hmm. Recently I tried, and I'm not actually sure where this sits. I think everybody's got their own variation. I tried Eferiro, which is a spinach stew. Okay. Um, and I typically like a gussy stew, which that. is made with like melon seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then it has like spinach and stuff in mm. it. Eferiro, I've tasted it before. It just didn't, mm, didn't really bang for no? me okay. personally. The one that I had like a week or so ago, fantastic. Is this home? Is this? Homemade? Was no, it wasn't friend, homemade. Oh. We, we bought it from uh, Tasty's, a, a oh, restaurant yeah, yeah, chain yeah, called yeah, Tasty's. Tasty. I usually just get the the puff puff. I think the nearest one to me is Barking. There's one in my nail shop. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. there's one in Good Maze as well. You're right. You're right. You're yeah, right, there's yeah, one yeah. in my nail shop. So yeah, I had the we had the Eferira from there. I had it with pounded jam because I love a bit of pounded jam. Uh, but yeah, the Eferira was banging. Let me see if I can get. Um, a bit of context for those that don't know. So it's a Go vegetable on. stew. Me. <laughs> oh, it's a vegetable stew and a native soup of the Yoruba people of Western Nigeria. The two vegetables most commonly used to prepare the soup are Celosia argentia and Amaranthus hybridus. So I guess it's two types of spinach right, okay, or okay, leafy okay. green that yeah. they put in there. Uh, but I think it's, I mean, I don't know <laughs> what what's in it, but it's a spinach stew, basically. And Eferiro simply means stirred leafy vegetable. I love stuff like that. Though. But it was just, oh, I had it with beef. Yeah. But actually it came with assorted meat, but I don't like assorted meat. So I picked out all the beef. <laughs> I don't know how to eat swallow properly with my fingers. My friend says I pick at it like I a I saw pigeon. a picture on your Instagram. But, <laughs> I, but is that because of your nails? Because I was, wor- I, uh... I am always conscious of when my nails are that, da- well, when I used to get shellac a lot, I would always be like, mm, I'm going to eat this like a bit of an idiot because I just paid for these. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's my nails and also I, I'm just not used to the, that, the hand motion right, yeah, of yeah, yeah, pulling yeah. it and then rolling it in my fingers. So I just pull it between my first two fingers and like dip it in a bit and put it in my mouth. Pinch. But yeah, <laughs> it was kind lovely. Of and then I recently had it again with Ebba and Ebba is um, another swallow and it's made from cassava. It actually reminds me, this is where that kind of... Um, diaspora conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. comes in for me because Ebo is made from cassava and it tastes like the one that's not sour tastes like bami mm. and that's why I love it because it tastes it reminds me of bami so I had it with Ebo and I had it with pounder jam a couple of people on my Instagram were like Ebo gotta have it with the pounder and I was like I've done that <laughs> done that baby that's that was my starter yeah mm-hmm. but yeah that was my that was my highlight because I've tasted it before didn't really like it always got a gussy but now I'm a bit of an FO babe interesting yeah very very interesting um i have two food highlights of the week okay. this week because they're very simple but very efficient okay. one is and i don't know if i've spoken about these before maybe when we did what we eat in a week um the pret a manger frozen croissants that you can bake at home no you didn't talk about them actually i don't think i did because they're not something that i routinely buy they're like 350 for a bag of yeah. six so i mean it still works out a lot cheaper than buying pret croissants in the store But I bought them in my groceries last week and just as like two different breakfasts this week. Mm -hmm. I mean, the two days I went from home because they take like 20 minutes in the oven. Just three little 
couple of crystals in the oven yeah. and have a little <laughs> fresh of it croissant in the morning. Boulangerie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a little yeah. Yeah. Um, And I absolutely love them. I think they're really, really good. I think they have three different products. They're all butter croissant, which is the one I've got. They, I think they have the almond croissant, they have the <gasps> vegan croissant, and they have mm. the pan au chocolat. Okay, the almond, I love it. I'm pretty croissant. sure it's the almond croissant. Really? The, the bags are all kind of different pastel colour shades. Are they um gluten free? <laughs> No, they're Brady bloody chucks. not gluten free. There's the vegan one. Yeah. Enjoy. Um, but yeah, those are super good. That's been the kind of like a little morning yeah. highlight of my week. And marathon related highlight of the week just because it's where we're at in life right now. Yeah. Um, shout out to Shreddy Protein Powder. I tried some other protein powder this week because I was in a rush. It was like three pounds in Tesco. I just grabbed yeah. it. Um, and it was Arse. Yes, protein powder. <laughs> when you so find one that you bad. like, you've got to look it in because some of them are it terrible. Was so bad. So I, I just have to say, shout out to Shreddy. Shreddy is my protein powder of choice. Um, what flavor? Either the salted caramel ice cream. I don't know why it's called salted caramel ice cream, specifically the ice cream yeah. part. But anyway, I like to have that one because I'll mix it in with coffee, like if a coffee okay, and banana, and that it just turns nice. it into like adds the syrupness to the coffee. Um, and just the vanilla one. I think the yeah. vanilla one is like the nicest vanilla protein powder. Is it vegan? That yes. One? Okay, because I, I need a vegan protein Yeah, powder. oh yeah, I have to have vegan. Yeah. Is I it gluten free? Weigh. It might be. Okay. It very well might be because it it's a Grace Beverly product yeah. brand and typically it's, you know. Like allergen. allergen. Low in allergens. Yeah, low in yeah. allergens. Um, I will link a link to them in description. You can get them from the Shreddy website or you can get them Superdrug. Mm-hmm. They actually return Superdrug, so that's good. But yeah, after that little one-off one day where I was like, my protein. Yeah. And I bought this bag and I was just like, mm-mm. Okay. No, I'm not going back I'm on the streets like that again. So those are my convenient. They're kind of both mm-hmm. convenience products this week, but yeah, the little croissant being in my life. I, if they've got the almond ones, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. But they're not gluten free. I mean, I think I, so, I shared this before. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, you're not Celia. <laughs> yeah. So you know, what it's mean? worth the suffering. Yeah. Is and none of the products that you just mentioned not products? Sorry, the foods that you just mentioned they're not. They're not. They're not. Cassava is not. It's a root veg. Yeah, like pounded jam. It's just. Yam, just yam, um, just and, and Ebo is just like cassava. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a gluten free. It's a gluten free oh. meal. Mm-hmm. I think Lovely. that's quite interesting as well. Not to make this a gluten free conversation, but I saw something the other day. Actually, I bought it. It's my bagels, my bagel things that I buy, and for some reason, the front of them they say that they're vegan. I'm mm-hmm. like, well, your bread. <laughs> yeah. Like, why wouldn't you be? But I guess it have milk. It shouldn't. Oh. It's like a brioche, but it's just yeah. interesting that there are certain cuisines of certain countries that are naturally, yeah, naturally, like, gluten that are naturally free. just gluten free or vegan the, or whatever. The thing is, there's I think when you look outside of um, European food, mm. there's a lot of things that are actually gluten free yeah. because I think wheat being like the root of industrialization yeah, and that kind of thing, true. it shows that wheat shows up a lot in yeah. um, Western diets, cheap grain, yeah, exactly. Grain. So when you have more off the land yeah it, it, there's a lot of things that are gluten free yeah. especially if you're not having bread like yeah. once you're not having bread you can find a lot of traditional Legumes. dishes yeah yeah you, you love it so but yeah on today's episode actually we're gonna be talking we are gonna be talking about gluten yeah we are we are gonna talk about gluten <laughs> <laughs> today's episode is all about pancake day yes we've uh, had two kind of specials in a row because valentine's day fell last week mm-hmm um, if you haven't checked out that episode, it's not too late. It was an interesting conversation about love and food, so you can go back and listen to that any time of the year. But today we're going to be talking about Pancake Day, because that is this week. And it's another fake holiday that I love. Is it though? Is it a fake holiday? Pancake Day is a fake okay. holiday. It's Shrove Tuesday, which is what yeah. I believe in the celebrating, mm-hmm. me and my Jesus. The concept of Pancake Day um, is Shrove Tuesday. And I think the, the story of how it ended up being a pancake day is that Shrove Tuesday is the day before the start of Lent. Yeah. And Lent is a time of fasting, giving up. People will say, hey, you don't have to give up. You have to start. And it's not the root. The root is to give up, mm-hmm. to stop doing something. And people would use up everything in their cupboard before they started okay. their fast. So that's how the notion of using up your pancakes remember, and stuff like that yeah. has come. But it's now obviously become a commercial where we go out and buy the things to make the pancakes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it defeats the purpose. We intentionally go and buy all the stuff to make the pancakes. Um, and Shrove Tuesday as well, across different communities, is celebrated as Mardi Gras mm-hmm. on the same day. So in New Orleans, oh, okay. in New Orleans, they throw like Mardi Gras is a massive thing. I think in some South American countries as well, it's a massive thing. It's not here for any one reason, but 
Um, there's something called the king cake that they have in, in New Orleans, which is a cake um, and it will have like purple, yellow and green icing on it, which are the colours that they typically wear and like have the beads and stuff when they're oh, celebrating Mardi, Mardi Gras when for the Mardi carnival. Gras? Same day. It's oh, the same oh, it's day. The same. Yeah, it's True Tuesday. Oh, okay. It's the same celebration. It's just by Ooh. different cultures. Because it's, ultimately, it's a religious day. Ultimately, yeah. it's a Christian yeah. celebration. It's a day of c- Christian celebration. Um, well, I guess not really celebration, leading into Lent. Yeah. But it's it's many different things, many different cultures. Mm-hmm. I would love to be in New Orleans to celebrate Mardi yeah, Gras. Yeah, that's like, what I'm like. Oh, maybe, because I want to go for summertime, but Mardi Gras is a big deal out there, so. Yeah, it's far, it, it, well, depending on, it's fallen in February this year, yeah. so that's quite a way away from. Oh yeah, because it's like in line with like uh, Carnival, like Trinidad Carnival, yeah, which is yeah. around the same time. Well, it's in line with however the Catholic, Lent, yeah, um, however yeah. the Catholic calendar falls, because that does shift year on year, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, that's like obviously where, the root of Pancake Day and mm-hmm. what Pancake Day is and what it's kind of become. Um, do you have you always celebrated Pancake Day? Do um, you celebrate? I pancake engage day? with Pancake Day. Yeah, <laughs> like, I engage because I think I think like when you say celebrate Pancake Day, it sounds weird yeah. to me. But I will acknowledge Pancake Day. Um, make <laughs> okay. pancakes. I think pancakes in my house weren't necessarily like a big deal. It was something we'd have on the weekend sometimes. Okay, and so in school, pancake yeah, day is yeah, a yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go home and kind of force your parents to, to <laughs> entertain to, your yeah, to, to get you to have pancakes as I've grown mm. older with my friends um made it a big deal a couple yeah. of times to like actually go out and, and get do pancakes something. on pancake day yeah. but then when you start working um more and you get older sometimes it's inconvenient yeah. and you can't be bothered because so. it will always fall on a Tuesday yeah so. exactly <laughs> the working week so sometimes I've just made pancakes at home yeah yeah and then content creation you'll do a couple pancake, <laughs> couple pancake recipes, recipes around that time yeah. um i have a long-standing relationship with pancakes mm-hmm. <laughs> shout out to actually georgia i don't know if this is a podcast but she loves pancakes so much i think last week or the week before she went and got a little stack of pancake tattoos really on her side I want a foodie pancake uh, not a foodie, a foodie tattoo, tattoo. Yeah. yeah and it made me let's think let's go and get some let's yeah <laughs> we should let's you're paying okay um she went and got this little cute stack of pancakes and she was basically sharing how pancakes have always been a part of her Mm -hmm. life and her family and similar to what we're talking about last week like the art or just community aspect of making pancakes as a family was something that she was talking about and how they make them together and you know you can make a stack and make someone else a stack Mm -hmm. i think it's a very like wholesome thing well in her household and her family and i have the same relationship but as I've said many times, we were not really cooking in my household growing yeah. up. But what we used to have all the time was box mixed pancakes. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I love that. We're gonna we're gonna get into a little something in a minute, but pancakes versus crepes. Okay, two different yeah. things. Yeah. But the box mix would make pan like thick pancakes, American, American style, style pancakes, mm-hmm. and we would very rarely ever have them because what it was was that we were having what is now known is as pearl milling company pancakes yeah. but growing up they were aunt jemima pancakes and you could only get them in america you could only point. get them in america yeah. so how we we would get them in jamaica oh okay okay and we were going to jamaica like my whole childhood basically until my grandparents passed that's that was the only holiday we that was yeah where, that's where we went <laughs> we went home to see them but or they would come vice versa yeah. so if they came like childhood holidays real child holidays Mallorca or something like you know what mm-hmm. I mean but really we'd be going to Jamaica so luck- hopefully I would manage to get two or three boxes yeah two or three times a year with the syrup oh the yeah original, with the gallon the original with the syrup. big boy syrup yeah. so again it's not so much that I was having them every weekend but I did get to enjoy them a couple of times a year mm-hmm. with the Aunt Jemima mix and absolutely they would be like the highlight of my life yeah highlight of my life and they, they in my head they just came together so simply like yeah. they just appeared they used to taste good they had the right the right yeah. balance yeah and i think as well i shared another story when we were talking about guilty pleasures with my mm-hmm. relationship with mcdonald's pancakes oh yeah <laughs> and that as well comes from because the, my the dad scotch pancakes <laughs> the scotch pancakes i would have them on i i was very young but a saturday or sunday morning because my dad would work nights mm-hmm. so he would come home with them Oh, okay. So oh, the McDonald's. Yeah, he'd okay. bring the McDonald's home with him. Um, and at a point, I think even, even like, I remember it vividly. Waking up, I would either smell it or I'd be up just knowing in anticipation because I knew he went, yeah. he worked nights last <laughs> night. And that was like a big thing in my childhood. So none of my pancake core memories come from 
eggs and flour and milk. They come from boxes and... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I grew up having um, the Aunt Jemima yeah, Pound yeah, Milling yeah. Company pancakes, pancakes. And they were such a treat. They were such mm. a big deal. My grandma, she lived in America for a significant por- portion of my life. Right. So she would send these big boxes oh. over. Especially for my birthday. She you would were the plug. Big, yeah, <laughs> they'd send me a big box of like gifts and stuff. And she'd mm. put in the pancakes because she knew that I loved them. And then if we'd go to Jamaica, sometimes we'd, we'd Pick bring up the them box. back. Yeah. yeah, so we'd get the big syrup, and that would last for a while. Yeah, and we'd have the boxes or like the bag of the pancake mix. Because the yeah. thing I loved as well that I didn't know about food or life until I was much older was that what I loved about McDonald's pancake syrup and Aunt Jemima's pancake syrup is that they're pancake syrups. Mm-hmm. They're fructose syrups yeah. like with flavorings and things like that i think i the first time i had maple syrup i was like proper maple syrup i was surprised how thin it was yeah because i was used to that like the thickness, thickness the viscosity. of the american yeah. literally pancake syrup mm-hmm. which has more of like a golden syrup texture if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about very much thicker and that was when I realised, like, oh my gosh, all my life I thought I was having Canadian maple syrup and I've been having, <laughs> yeah. I've been having pancake yeah. syrup. It's the cheap stuff. The cheap stuff. <laughs> um, but I love it. And I think I love it because it's just straight up sugar and it's flavour. It is yeah. what it is. Some of the crap is good though, I'm not going to lie. Some of the crap is good. Yeah. And yeah, I stand by my decisions. My guilty pleasure to this day is still cheeky McDonald's breakfast, pancake breakfast in my bed. No one asked you so to roll your the eyes dead or whatever. Scottish pancakes. Just leave them alone. <laughs> M- Mighty McMuffin. I didn't have a Mighty McMuffin, actually. I was a bagel babe. So. Well, whatever. Classy bagel babe. So, <laughs> on Pancake Day, yes. we would is a day that, because that was our pancake life, on Pancake Day, we would make crepes. Okay. Lemon sugar. Yeah. Crepes. So, you, so strawberries and cream. Crepes. Do you know what the crepes thing? It stops like lemon and sugar for me. Lemon really? and sugar and syrup. Okay. That to me, the cre- it doesn't need right, anything else. A good crepe mm-hmm. with some lemon juice, white sugar. Yes, has to be white. Yeah, white sugar. Fold it up and then you pour oh, some syrup you fold. on top. Yeah, I fold it up like so that so that the lemon juices and stuff can kind of settle mm-hmm. into the pancake and then the syrup is on the outside and when the crepe has that like, crisp edges. Yeah, edges. Yeah, I love that. But I don't think I have a preference. To me, they're two very different things. One, oh one yeah, hundred percent. The other. No, no, so 100%. sometimes I want a crepe. Sometimes yep. I want pancakes. Um, but I'd have both on on pancake day. Oh okay. But yeah, simple think, simple flavors for my yeah. crepe. Not into all of that mix up and blend up. <laughs> I think no. as I've got older, and I've had more control of my mm. life, I would have American pancakes if I was having breakfast pancake day, yeah. and then crepes. In the evening, because again, my parents we have to have dinner. Yeah, I was I used to be so jealous of my friends that were like, "We have for dinner." It's pancake day, pancakes. I'd be like, "Well, you guys have to have dinner. Like, you guys don't have to have dinner first. Yeah, I had to have dinner. Yeah, because it's, it's not proper food. It's not proper food. Yeah, and I but then I'd waste space. I'm like, then I don't want dinner. So because... wait, uh, were you guys having savory? No, <laughs> because we're having dinner. Okay, are you into savory crepes? Let's come. Let's, okay, we're gonna, let's stick a pin. We're gonna, we're gonna stick a pin. <laughs> we're gonna come to that. But I would have. Yeah, it's lemon and sugar, or we do sliced strawberries and nah, cream. don't like that. <laughs> don't like that stuff. And fold. I would roll. Okay, I'm a roller. You know when you fold it and it becomes a triangle, yeah, and then fold. you roll it, so it's almost like a Whoa. cigar type thing. I've had that before. Oh no, no but no. just rolled. Yeah, no. rolled, and then either then chopped as you go. Ooh, I don't like the sound of or that. Or just like. Really? Yeah. No, I like it folded. No. I like it folded. Or if there's so many toppings, I feel like you make a line of them. So it's almost like a duck. You know how you make like a duck pancake, like a Chinese pancake? Yes. That's how we would do it. So I'd put I'd put my toppings in the middle. If I had like strawberry, if I see this lemon and yeah. sugar, it's all over. But I would do stra- a line of strawberries, a line of <laughs> cream. Really? And then I'd like roll it. Oh, no, I never And never I'd eat that. it like a cube. <laughs> never had that. No. Oh my God, I can't wait. I'm going to have that pancake day for sure. That was 100% my choice. But no, I never have dabbled into savoury pancakes on pancake day. I think I've had savoury pancakes at, um, is it my old Dutch house? My old Dutch, yeah. There's a, they're a chain, aren't they? Yeah, they They've are. Few, yeah. I've only ever been to the one by Holborn. I've been to a couple of them, mm. but my choice back in the day was Dudley's Pancake House. Oh, oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are they still open? No, they shut down and I've never heard from them since. They're not picking up my calls. They don't text. They don't write. <laughs> I don't know what happens. They shut down. 
And that was the end of that. But Dudley's Pancake House, back in the day, because Dudley started out in Frisbee Park. Yes. And when it was in Frisbee Park, so my mind was blown. Put me on, yeah. yeah, my mind was blown. Stroud Green Road. Dudley's was down the road from um, Pizzeria Papagoni. The place that I was talking about that I used to go to with my yeah. mum. Yeah, on Stroud Green Road. The one that you were eating at weekly for half, oh, your, gosh, half yeah. your childhood life. But they, then they moved to Barnet. And yeah, for a long, to I be fair, to towards the end really of fun. their life, the quality started to dip. It, it kind of changed. I don't know what was going on. But when Dudley's were at their peak, those giant crepes. Giant ones. Fantastic. With like Snickers chopped up. Fantastic. Or any, anything. Yeah. Your wildest dreams. Yeah, you, I would get it with... um. The sugar, lemon, mm. syrup. I think Eve would get that. And then I'd have ice cream. Yeah, I would always yeah, have ice cream. I'd have ice cream. I can't even remember my combinations there. They were definitely like caramelly though. Mm-hmm. Because I think my choice is to have anything outside of my house has to be different from what I could do inside my house. So I hear, I, it, I hear Do you know it. what I mean? Yeah, I can I do lemon and sugar. <laughs> Sometimes classic is best. Like yeah. I'm just going to have classic, cool, whatever. But I would always go there and be like, what's... <laughs> Give me the wildest thing on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the wildest combination you've got. Are you? <laughs> and ice cream. Oh and back gosh. then, this is like after school, year seven and year eight times when our mums would still drop us and take us places. Yeah. So I remember we'd be sitting there probably with Eve's mum looking at us like, wow, God, they're, these girls. they're having a great time. Yeah. Like This will keep them going for four hours. <laughs> like they'll just sit here and pretend they're having yeah. like an adult night out in our school uniform. But um Good times. I was actually thinking of that. I didn't want to not know the name. I wasn't yeah. even going to bring it up. But um, these days, I can't really say I eat pancakes. Like, should I say crepes out like that? Yeah. But I know that I love urban chocolatier. I've mentioned it before. But I don't pancake there. I waffle there. I went through a phase of the breakfast club. Do you know I never made it to the breakfast club? It's still there, baby. Yeah, <laughs> I've, never, I've never made it to the breakfast club. Oh, I've breakfast yeah, club me and good. me and tyler that was our thing you know and the other day i think we said something to each other like we haven't made breakfast club in time really like we, we used to just that's what we did what and were you ordering pancakes oh because what? they do all, they do all day brunch they do okay. like all day so we would have i think either the stack i've gone through being the stack person which was like berries and cream or something mm-hmm. like that these are american pancakes by the way fluff, like stack stackable american fluffy pancakes yeah or i would get the Oh my god, all American, I think it's called, or the American, okay. which was like a full breakfast, but like sausages, um, potato hash, uh, fried egg, or egg, however you wanted, and then like two pancakes on, like, as well. So there yeah. was like a, I would always eat the savory side, and then I would pan, I would syrup the pancake and have that as almost like dessert. Yeah, it's giving, it's giving lobster and waffles. No, um, it's not. <laughs> Excuse me. It's, not. it's giving. Now I'm reflecting on it. It's giving. I my metabolism was better then. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's giving. Now you I'm thinking about this things. massive breakfast I was eating. But um, yeah, I used to love pancakes at Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I haven't been there in years. Fell no. out. Didn't fall out with them for any particular oh, reason. Oh, let's add it to our list of things to do. Do you know where I went one pancake day Go and on. I loved Granger and Co. For oh, their I've hot done cakes. that as well. I love, oh, and do you know what's mine? Banana is one of my like, top <laughs> top things you that hate I hate. It. I hate banana, but I think I've like flicked off the bananas. But mm. those hot cakes, because they're I've got them on my blog, Green Drink Co. They're um they're not actually pancakes. They're are they? ricotta. They're ricotta, ricotta pancakes. Hot cakes, yeah, hot cakes. Like like yeah, they're hot cakes. They're, and Green Drink Co. is an Australian Australian brand. Yeah, Australian yeah, yeah. brand. But um, yes, I wanted them for ages because my one of my favorite bloggers. Um, she still blogs now maybe she falls more into like influencer yeah but the londoner rosie the londoner and she used to live in notting hill so she would go to granger and co the original yeah. one in notting hill all the time and i was so jealous because it was this oh, is when i was like so 15 good. and notting hill was the end of the earth like that was so yeah. far away and they opened one in clerkenwell mm-hmm. and i was like i used to work around the corner from there we must go yeah. and we went one day and i was like Bang I feel, I feel, ricotta, I feel middle class yeah ricotta hot cakes banana and a honeycomb, honeycomb butter yes. but they're so light and fluff, the thing, the only thing about them I'll say is you get two, they don't can you? sometimes taste a little eggy. Right. I have had them a few times. It's they, because they're almost souffle. Yeah, they can but other than that, someone took, this is following on from last week, someone took me there when we were just talking about food and different mm, places mm. and they were like, do you know what, like, huh? I think you will love this. Like, let's go. We went up, we went in the middle of the day. <laughs> we were both working, we went in the middle of the day. I put an, um, a meeting into my calendar. <laughs> And I just skipped out and I met them there in the middle of the day and we had this and I just, I loved it so much because it was like, I've never had this. Mm. 
we've talked about pancakes and stuff. You've thought of something that you know that you think I'd love, love and you've yeah. taken me to it. But yeah, those the Ranger cutter hot cakes. Yeah. I, no. I need to go back. I haven't been in years. Me and Selena used to go. Yeah. I think we went twice, but absolutely loved it there. One pancake day that I skipped out on lunch, I did not lie, however, was I was interning and we went to the breakfast club because on breakfast... I think maybe the week of Pancake Day, I'll check. I haven't looked for this this year. Mm -hmm. But they used to run this competition. So they would give you like a mega sack. And Mm -hmm. if you don't finish, then you have to pay for it. Um, And we went there, me, Selena, I think Enzo, just a couple of us. And he was going to try and finish this thing. This 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 mega stack. stack. What it look like? I think it's only maybe like ten pancakes. Oh, but that's gluten a lot. Bob. <laughs> that's a lot. Like this, this stack of pancakes, and yeah. they aside from the the challenge, you could they just had really they always do really good combinations. So I remember that year while I was watching him try and do this thing, I had the lemon meringue stack, which was like the special of the year. Okay, and it was so good because I think it had like crispy meringue crumbles and lemon candied yeah. lemons and stuff, and it was just. It was a weird combination for me. I was so used to lemon belonging to crepes and not to fluffy. Oh yeah, to, because to me, yeah. fluffy pancakes is like syrup, butter. Oozing in, yeah. right, yeah. But Things it was so good, butter. it was really, really yeah. good. Maybe it had like a lemon curd or something. For some reason it was good. Um, I know they do like cream egg pan- The egg breakfast clubs have really good. <laughs> They're very <laughs> overindulgent. I don't like pancakes like that. They're I, very I'm, overindulgent. I, you, Again, it's so funny how these different conversations weave into each other. You see that with pasta, when mm. sometimes I just like the actual taste of the pasta. The pasta. With pancakes, a good pancake butter, yeah. I just love the taste of it. So I feel like syrup and butter, mm. just high in the salt and the sugar in the in the pancake. Yeah. Mix. And that's what I love. All the extra stuff, it's not a bit of me. No? No, not going to lie. It's All not right, a love. Bit of me. <laughs> One pancake combination that I've been dying to try yeah. that I haven't ever is crepe Suzette. Oh, yeah. So it's like, it's a, I'm reading it it's off French. here. It's a French dessert consistent of crepes with beer Suzette, which is butter, right? Yeah, so yeah. Su- Suzette butter, a sauce of caramelized sugar and butter, tangerine or orange juice, zest and grand... Grand manier. manier. Yeah, I've had it Triple before. sec or yeah. um, basically it's like nice. flambé. Yeah, it's nice. Um, obviously, if you make it at home, if you're not confident, don't flambe it. But <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'd be flambe it at home, but I want to try that. I might I might try it this year. I might try and do it. The only thing I don't like about it, and this is where me and you will differ again. Okay. Because I know you don't like hot food, like hot, like straight off yeah. into your mouth. Even the concept of you folding this. The way we used to make pancake day at my house, at my family's house, mm-hmm. is we just eat them as they come off the pan. No, I do that. Oh, but okay. pancakes cool so quickly. They yeah, do. They cool quickly. But the concept of me having to like make four pancakes to then soak them in the syrup and then like, da, 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 I'm just yeah. like going cold. It's going yeah. cold. It's going cold. <laughs> I like my food. I like yeah. my hot food hot. Yeah. So I would love to give it a try, but I feel like I might prefer to give it a try from a restaurant or something just to mm-hmm. ensure that it's coming up to me hot yeah. profe- with a griddle yeah. i've got to make one do you know what i've I mean? had it once when i was studying abroad in okay. france yeah, for yeah. Pa- around pancake, pancake day. day and i had it then and it was i remember enjoying it it was mm. nice but for me it was very much like a dessert um and that's kind of yeah, i'm okay with that yeah so it wasn't a bad thing but you know like pancake day when you're growing up, it's very much pancakes and then you can put some toppings on. This right. felt like a whole thing. A dessert. Okay, yeah, okay. it Fair felt like a, very much like a dessert, but it was, it was nice. I quite enjoyed it. Re- wheeling back to mm-hmm. savoury pancakes. Yeah. How, what's your stance on them? Um, I'm, savoury pancakes for me goes as far as pancakes with egg mm-hmm. on the side. Um, and maybe like some sausage or something. Oh, so you don't even mean like savoury pancakes? I'm not really into savoury pancakes. Oh. Um, I think I probably have had it before, but I just don't think I love it. However, I am lying right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling fibs. Go on. Because I went through a little phase. Um, there was a, it's closed down now, unfortunately. There was a restaurant in Chingford. And it was like a, a crepery. Yeah. Uh, they did. They had like an ice cream bar, and they did Mm-mm. that type of stuff. And they would do these savory pancakes. Yeah. And I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I am fibbing because I really enjoyed the savory crepe pancake, and it had like um, cheese, spinach, yeah, cheese, and yeah, that kind yeah. Of stuff. So yes, <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> like I don't um, mind. Yes. Yeah, almost. Is it a, what's a galette? That's no. That's slightly different. That's I'm making dessert. stuff up. Yeah. yeah but dessert. when it's like a savory pancake. And you've got the, the sorry, it's a savoury crepe. So 
I don't like savoury pancakes. I, no, I'm not into see, that, where they mix um, savoury things into the pancake batter, but a crepe yeah. served with savoury things on it. Right. That fluffy pancake. So, like me, what I said I had at Breakfast Club, like a breakfast spread that's savoury. Like it's got a sausage next yeah. to it, an egg next so to it. So, that's as well. Uh, you see what? Okay, we're talking about pancakes versus crepes. crepes. Okay. With pancakes, I can have savoury sides. With it. Okay. So, I can okay, have okay. a pancake, which is even making me. Can we stick a pin in IHOP? <laughs> and, a, <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Okay. But yeah, I can have. Savory American pancakes with savory sides, a crepe on top of my crepe and into my crepe, I can have spinach, cheese, tomatoes. Mm. I do like that. I do like that. And it's like kind of folded over, yeah. almost like in an omelet style or it's slightly open and it's, it's folded yeah. on the side. So if you have like yeah. a, I think the one, the one that I remember having was at, um, I don't know if it was at my old Dutch now I'm saying it. Cause I, I know it was a Dutch pancake, mm-hmm. which I think to us, us Brits is more like a giant Yorkshire. Yes, that's it, what it looks it like. It comes up the side yeah. of it. And I remember that being what I had, and I loved it because the edging was like crispy. So it didn't matter like that there was kind of like egg and the softness from the yeah. cheese and whatever in the base. It was almost like having, you know, like when you have um, Neapolitan pizza and it's like a bit yeah. floppy in the middle. Mm-hmm. Obviously I wasn't eating the pancake like that, but I had like an element <laughs> of crunchy yeah. to like get back in even as the pan- the rest yeah. of it was It was still softer. textured. There was still stuff yeah. going on. I just don't like that idea. Maybe that's what's putting me off about the whole crepe Suzette thing. It just being like soft. soft. Mm. But that's why for yeah. me, it's very much like a dessert almost. By the time you've done all of that fandangles, mm. it's, it's very much like a, des- it's a dessert, dessert dish. thing, yeah. yeah. I just opened my blog, okay. the small size.com. It's still yeah. there. And I searched pancakes to see what I what I used to be into. Okay. And the first or the oldest post I have on here about pancakes is the Breakfast Club Hoxton. Yeah. And it makes me laugh because when I read these it? things. So this was May 2014. Yeah. And I won't read the whole thing to you, but I've written absolutely delicious. <laughs> And I've put, Fantastic. there is something in the vanilla cream that just blows your mind. It really is downhill from here. Nothing will ever compare to that cream. <laughs> yeah. It was good. It was good. The next pancakes I've got on here, actually the ones I want to mention, you just reminded me okay. when you said IHOP. Actually, you said something else, but there's just so many pancakes going on in my head. Big Daddy's, which is in New York. It's on mm-hmm. the Upper West Side. Mm-hmm. The pancakes that day, blue my really? mind and you know why simplest thing they put crispy bacon in, in the, the pancake so is it almost like when you have um, a mcgriddle kind of that kind of thing is that i've never had a mcgriddle you never oh, no, from mcdonald's in america i would I, um, i've only ever had my my issue when i go to america is i'm either with family where i have mcdonald's or okay. i'm in new york and i don't want to waste a meal on mcdonald's yeah. no so <laughs> the mcgriddle which is like i've never had it you pan- live there so two pancakes and then yeah. you've got the, the sausage and egg in the middle, but the pancake, the, the pancake which replaces the muffin has got pops of syrup in it. No, I think the was McGriddle pancake. was one of the best things that McDonald have ever done. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not like big on fast food, but that right there. Right there? Yeah. Right there. Listen, so I've written here, mind blown was obviously my word of, of the time. Yeah. I ordered the pancake, <laughs> the bacon cakes, fluffy pancakes loaded with crispy bacon. And when they say loaded, they mean loaded. <laughs> there was bacon Wait. inside, in italics, the pancake. Do you know what's going to be? Mind blown. You were like the, on the laptop. <laughs> I was moving like Carrie Bradshaw. Yes. <laughs> and I couldn't help but wonder. <laughs> um, but I'm looking at the other pictures. And I think I looked up this place. I've been to New York yeah. time since. And I remember this was the day that we discovered tater tarts. Oh, okay. And we were like, t- and the one was like, would you have tater tarts with that? And we were like, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> And she was like, would you like tater tots with that? Yeah. And we were like, what's a tater tot? But tater little, tots used to have little, little, mush, little hash brown bites, yeah. basically. But the great pancakes there. What else is on here, Harley? What a life I've lived. Hot box in Aldgate. Mm-hmm. Apparently, I loved the pancakes there. Oh, and guess why <laughs> I went there? Because of the Londoner. Rosie the Londoner. Went there for Mother's Day brunch. And I've got a picture here of me having pa- pancakes and bacon. And my mum had some kind of like... Um, oh, I can tell you exactly what she had because I wrote it down, didn't I? <laughs> Mother went for the full Monty, ribs, mushroom, <laughs> eggs and toast. She mentioned that the ribs were a bit blowing? fatty, but they were still rather delicious. I don't seem to have used the word mind blown in this <laughs> blog post. <laughs> but let's just say there are many a blog posts on here about yeah. pancakes and 
Lovely. Yeah. I think we got. We, I think we should it. try and do Pancake Day together this year. Oh. Yeah. Then we can we can review it. I think we should do it together. Because okay. I mean I don't that know would... anywhere that's doing gluten free <laughs> pancakes, but I'm willing to take the risk. For the well, pancake. if you're if we if we're together, I may yeah. flambe the thing. I'm just not gonna do that about myself. Okay. Or well, I catch see. my whole face yeah, on fire. Let's see. I've got one. I did Pancake Day once, like on my blog, because at this point I was definitely. Oh, this is not Pancake Day. This was just pancakes. Oh, pancakes. <laughs> I did Pancake Day one okay. day. This is when I was like vlogging and stuff and i was really mm. into like my youtube and i actually i actually want to get back vlogging but that's a conversation for another, another day, day yeah. and i went to jackson and rye okay um with my girls disaster oh okay never mind <laughs> disaster i did not enjoy it i felt like i for me going out for pancake day quickly became not a thing for me because i right. felt like restaurants were pumping out pancakes and if you go too late in the day Stay the up. quality is on the on the yeah. decline and i think that's what happened to us that day right it, they were small, they just tasted like they were pre-made and probably like sat under the light warmer. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The toppings were kind of limited. It just generally, it wasn't the greatest wasn't experience. Giving. And like, Time Out had put them on there and I thought, okay, I don't I don't really know much. Yeah. So I'm going to check it out. Jackson and Rye wasn't the best experience for me. This year, everyone's talking about where the pancakes are. Yeah, I even pulled up on like... Um, they might have a gluten-free offering. I feel like if you're, a, if you're a pancake place, yeah. you probably have more range. Whereas if you just go for pancake... Like, Breakfast Club are not going to bang out a gluten-free option just for pancakes, do you know yeah. what I mean? But they, they could um, have some other offerings. But, I'm, I mean, in London, I know they say where the pancakes are. Yeah. It's meant to be good. And then there's restaurants that also serve pancakes. Apparently, Riding House Cafe pancakes are good, but I've never tried them. No, I didn't have I them there know. either. Um, there are other options for savoury pancakes um, around the world. It would actually be super interesting, all 46 countries. Oh, yeah. Let us know what pancakes or pancake day looks yeah. like for you in your home country or even mm. if you're here in the UK, like what your culture brings to the yeah. pancake day because there is someone that I follow on Instagram, um, Tiffany, Tiff Cooks a lot, I think is her at. But she's from Taiwan and she makes these spring onion pancakes yeah. and they're like kind of paratery. So they're like, like that them. flaky, like, boss up shop mm-hmm. kind yeah, of yeah 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 you kind of use them in a as a dip yeah dip, they yeah. come from a dough that's like very finely rolled spiraled mm-hmm. and then rolled on itself so are that's they how pancakes or are we calling them in an english translation pancakes well possibly but she does she calls them pancakes. yeah okay. she calls them spring yeah. onion pancakes okay yeah they have their them, name they have thing, yeah, yeah they obviously have their name yeah. um but i think it's a suitable translation yeah, not like yeah. just that the english people are calling them spring onion pancakes like <laughs> they also acknowledge that in english yeah. it's, would be it's a pancake. spring onion pancake but um those i've had them once i think maybe were they or were they really vietnamese because i've also had like some kind of eggy savory pancake from a vietnamese place on dalston road which reminds me, we haven't been for our far yet. Oh yeah, there's so much to do between so, recording so much food to and eat. getting the content up. Literally. Yeah. Another thing. Wait, that... on Asian pancakes, yeah. have you tasted the Japanese fluffy pancakes? Yes, I have. And the place that I've been to, I went to the actual place, the mm-hmm. cafe, Fua Fua. Okay, like the Japanese ones. It. F-U-W-A. Yeah, F-U-W-A yeah. Um, in the Brunswick Centre. That's the one that I've been to. But I also had them again. It was really good. I went there by myself, actually. Um, I had it another time. They were at Taste of London Festival mm-hmm. a couple of years ago. It was in a, in a vlog. Mm-hmm. Scroll back. Um, those were really, really good. The thing that I don't like about them is that they don't stay good for very long. Because they will obviously deflate, yeah. like they're not really to go. Okay. You've got to have them in the moment. They're not necessarily the easiest to eat. Mm-hmm. They're not like a pan- They're not a pancake to me okay. personally. Is it giving more dessert? Just like- yeah, it's giving okay. like a fluffy dessert, and I don't love. It's almost a little too moussey for me. That's it. I've never been. It's, it's never been a priority to try it because it looks quite eggy. Like the souffle looks OD. Well, it's it's meringue. Yeah. It's whipped white. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. So, mm. it's, but it's nice. He says it is nice, yeah. and it, and I think the thing that you might like about it is the simplicity of it, and they just give you like syrup, or a couple of strawberries, okay. or like a little matcha cream, or something. Or like, a bit of matcha cream. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a loadable. Yeah. Again, these are in like Japan Center and mm-hmm. like stuff like that. So they will just give you what they want yeah, you yeah. to be served with. They haven't let it become Snickers and yeah. Yeah, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Sounds awful. Um, yeah. One other element of my childhood, actually, that I forgot to mention, my love of pancakes, which mm-hmm. I think a lot of pancakes um, stem from, a lot of pancake love stems mm-hmm. from, is from Matilda. 
Oh yeah, I feel like we just like yeah, a little bit tilted up and yeah. And you just reminded me there is a reel on my page from last Pancake Day mm-hmm. to the. Dun, 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 oh really? Am I gonna be your face? <laughs> on my way. Do, do, do. That song is amazing. I love a soundtrack. I'm mm-hmm. such a soundtrack kid. But um, send me on my way. So I will probably repost it anyway. But I might do another recipe yeah. this this year. I love that film and I love yeah. the sequence and I know we think we've spoken about this before but food in movies and TV shows yeah. when they do it right and to think that was like 93 yeah, 91 was... or 93 the art of just a little kid in the kitchen making the pancakes and living her best life yeah. and I was like oh. so cute I saw myself in that really oh god I couldn't, I couldn't wait for my <laughs> parents inspired. to stop to caring about me, me. <laughs> Why are you guys still here? I know, like, you're holding me back from my <laughs> dreams. And then I became an adult and I was like, yeah. I can do this now. So yeah. I will I will put that song on sometimes when I make pancakes. I love I love it. when movies showcase food, like, properly, showcase food yeah. properly and, like, centre the, the shots on the food and it doesn't look like plates of plastic that yeah. nobody's picking at and <laughs> nobody's eating. One show that I love that is nothing to do with food, but they highlight food a lot, Insecure. It doesn't oh, run anymore, I but I say, talk, talk yeah, I say this. it often. I love how they showcased the food and highlighted the LA food scene mm-hmm. in Insecure. And they would always have very clean, clear close-up shots of certain dishes. Yeah. Like if they were set in a restaurant or something. Oh. And it, that show makes me want to go to LA now. <laughs> really? Like now. Like literally right now, if I could get myself to LA, I would try every restaurant that they in showcase. There. Which is series. interesting because when we spoke about food, I said to you, like, I think that my LA experience, or I don't even think it made the cut. Yeah. We're talking about the LA experience is that yeah. I just kind of, I can go there and I love the food scene there. And actually, I think I may have had the biggest pancakes of my life there. Now mm-hmm. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it's all come back to me. Yeah. Is it on the blog? May, Mind blown. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Mind blown. Or it's on my Instagram at least somewhere. Yeah. But um, the food that I had there, I didn't find most exciting because I just decided that I would eat from chains and I ended mm-hmm. up loving them. Mm-hmm. So when people ask me for recommendations in LA, I have sorry. no yes, fancy sorry, nothing. Yeah. I'm like, pancakes here, sweet green salad bowls and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But Did you have IHOP in LA? Do you like IHOP pancakes? I don't think I've ever had them. <gasps> really? I used to lo- like when My I was, relationship with America is different to yours. Yeah, though. when I'd go to America, part of my experience... Is it's, IHOP pancakes. Yeah, part of, I had to have an IHOP breakfast. My, Usually the next day that I've touched down, get it out of my system. So mine is Juniors. If I'm going to New York, okay, Juniors, it has to be the pancakes But I never had juniors. the food at Juniors. I only had the oh cheesecake. I think we spoke about oh this before. I've, I've had never it, had like, the food. I think I've had the pancakes there really? 12 times. Really? Because like, even the trip that we just went, we went twice because yeah. our hotel was on Times, well, just off Times Square. Mm-hmm. So the day that we landed, familiarity, yeah. get us like, get acclimatised, yeah. Juniors. And then the day that we ended up driving out to Woodbury Common, because you mm-hmm. have to leave quite early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Junior, right there, juniors. But What's that place you told me to go to in New York last time? Mm. That did you told me oh to get my the, the French, the waffle, the French. Kitten Street Bakery. Those pancakes were banging. Oh, yeah, and it had like the blueberry sauce on it. Those pancakes, mwah, banging. And they were back. So I, I, we actually good. preferred them to the. Was it French toast? You told me to try. I had the French toast when I yeah. went. Yeah, with French toast. And pancakes. Yeah, the pancakes were were banging. But I love my IHOP pancakes really i don't know what it's like now but i hop pancakes used to get me going and there would be times especially because like i hop was open 24 7 or something so when i was yeah, in america see, we'd I go haven't... out late there was a time with a time when i went to la actually with my cousin and we'd gone to the club Guns or whatever too. and we had rented the car and we were just like we'd come back home and we were a little bit indisposed okay but you know and we were just like Do you know what let's go to IHOP. And we drove to IHOP and we had IHOP at like three o'clock in the morning. I've had IHOP at like two, three o'clock in the morning so many times. And I just, I just love it. Is that your, um, like McDonald's drive through Like if you were there and you coming home, yeah. from, is that what you want? If I was in America and I was coming home. Yeah. Um, and it's open, yeah. If if London had a, a, a nighttime food scene, like yeah. a bigger nighttime food scene, I'd probably even plan some of like, my like evenings yeah, to be up around. later and just to go. Because I just think there's something about like it being the middle of the night or being out after a party or something and just sitting down, chilling, talking and just being gassed I off lo- of the fun. I love the sound yeah. of this. This is another yeah, experience for me to add to my list. But yeah, I do like a, I do like a, a cheap little I, I hot pancake because I like 
I can taste the salt in the butter. That's interesting because the place, I, I do have a pancake nighttime memory, but it links into my Shoreditch life. My, Shoreditch life? Yeah. This is what you're talking Harley's about. circa 16 to like 23. Really? When it was just like, Shoreditch, 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 Shoreditch. Where are you going tonight? Shoreditch, 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 Box Park, Box Park, Shoreditch, Box Park, Brick Lane, Shoreditch, Brick, Brick, Brick Lane. And it's the place opposite Liverpool Street Station, Polo Cafe, Polo mm-hmm. Bar, Polo it's Cafe. It's open 24 hours. Open 24 hours. Yeah. They have red, they serve red velvet well, pancakes Well, I was there. about to say, I think that's why I've never been, because it looks like the madness that you love that they serve What do you mean? There. The stacks, the madness, like, the, the, what the things that they serve. wasted when I go in there. I don't give a heck. No, it's the stuff that you like, like, all the cream, and that's yeah. what you want, isn't it? You said you But like also, that. you can, like, I've been in there at two o'clock in the morning just to have a full English breakfast. Oh, okay. Like, Is it nice? Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. I'm drunk. I don't know. Okay. It's a consistent place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a fast food chain. Yeah. But for some reason, they've got like three floors, three or four yeah, floors. Yeah, yeah. It's really so high. you never have to wait. There's always someone coming or going or leaving or whatever. It's, mm-hmm. just, it's just a spot. I wouldn't eat anything off the counter there, though. Yeah. I just don't trust that it's ever changed. Talking about late night feeds, what, what's your thoughts on VQ? I see people talking I've about it I've done VQ. Time. I didn't do it in the middle of the night. I think yeah. we, tra- we were like, let's go in the middle of the night. We were like... How about 9 p.m.? Yeah. Like, too late. I'm too tired. Um, it was all right. The pancakes yeah. were crap, though. Have, what did I have for They were like micro pancakes. Really? Mm. I, I don't think I loved it. I knew somebody that, that loved it, but I think they had, like, one dish. It was, like, the chicken wings or something. And it's by Tom, Tom, like... Yeah. I don't know why I would ever be there again in the middle of the night. I guess, actually, now they have, like, alternate and stuff. There's more going on there, mm-hmm. maybe, in that particular area. But I remember us having to, like go there yeah and going there to have what we had i was like this is dead it's not worth it but i see people on twitter talking about mm. it all the time vq is dead yeah dead it's... london night food scene is dead it, it is though is. that's it why is. i was banging off kebab and chips <laughs> <laughs> you know and the salt mean? beef bagel yeah, that, that, literally salt beef bagel kebab and chips or chicken and chips those mm. are the only things that i really open but anyway that's nothing to do with pancakes so are there any recommendations of where we where we could go, where we could spend Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day Pancake Day together? This we shared a few, I guess. We said where the pancakes are. Yep. Um, we also Fuba said Fuba, you could Grain, try yeah, Granger and Co. Mm-hmm. Um, Time Out did an article. Yep. And they've got a couple on here. Um, they've got Will Farm Fuba. Girl. If you're into healthy eating, no, you don't want healthy eating, right? Not on pancake okay. Next. So these are fluffy buckwheat and buttermilk creations. Next. <laughs> <laughs> they're based in Notting Hill it's called Farm Girl if you're into that if you're going to Notting Hill just go to Green Drinker um, yeah My Old Dutch yeah we spoke yeah, about that it's a consistent one Riding House Cafe I mentioned mm. I see people talk about the pancakes but I have never gone had there and them, had yeah. pancakes but the food there is very good so I can you liked the it yeah I've been there oh, before okay, I think when, when I told you I was going yeah. when I got there I was like oh this place did you have the did you have the um, the lychee cocktail no it was 10 o'clock in the morning girl <laughs> <laughs> we went for breakfast before uh, we went ice skating. Fair enough. Um, there's the Colony Grill Room at the Beaumont, or the Beaumont no, Hotel. I This is looking like a bit of me. It says, eat your way through stacks of fluffy pancakes drenched in maple syrup and cured bacon, could do without, or sour cherries and clotted cream. That sounds like a bit of me. Mm. Yeah. So and, when the and bacon the was in the carbonara, lovely. it was fine, but now it's in the pancakes, is it? Well, I've, you know, I've, I've changed, mm-hmm. right? There's the Walsley as well. Been there, done was that. Was it good? Yeah, it was. Yeah, the pan- for pancakes specifically? Yeah, when the pancakes, me and Tyler used to do yeah. this. With Breakfast Club, we used to, this was our yeah, thing. Okay. When I wasn't doing calamari, this is what I was doing. Oh, okay, I remember the <laughs> calamari queen. Yes. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, um, Gloria as well. Glory to, uh, have, I went there for dinner. Okay, not had pancakes. We haven't had pancakes. But they're um, Italian. Yeah, so it says here, um, a cross between a chintzy curio filled emporium. Oh, this is, they're talking about the, the, venue. the, re- the venue. So yeah. it says, airy ricotta big banana pancakes for right, brunch yeah, yeah, yeah. with fresh bananas and maple syrup. Yeah. Sheer European. decadence. Yeah, so that kind of ricotta type of European fluffy thing. Flavor, yeah. um, and then they've also listed Copper Club as well as being good for pancakes. Oh, haven't haven't yeah. had for pancakes. Uh, all I know about Copper Club is those pods, those outdoor yeah. pods that they do. Um, and I've heard the food is I a bit. I went there for my birthday once. Not. I, Did you like it? Moving on. Okay. Um, right. Fair enough. So yeah, those are the ones. That's Time Out's recommendations. One of the places I've just remembered that me and Tyler yeah. frequented was Chilton Firehouse. Okay. Um, which was lovely. They mm-hmm. kind of the pancakes had like a crispiness to the outside of them. What? Was, like right fluffy crispy, crispy, crispy edges yeah yeah crispy edges on a fluffy pancake <laughs> yeah but it. it was almost like the consistency of the outside of the pancake was more like it was cornmeal 
okay. know how cornmeal crisps up in like a grainy kind yeah, of way yeah, yeah. but the inside was not maybe it was maybe i don't know they put, i don't know or maybe it was sugar maybe it was like Crystalized. it hit the pan with such heat yeah. that it maintained i don't know okay chill firehouse Great time. Yeah. Had a great time. There, I've got no gluten free recommendations for my people, unfortunately. But you're going to get a recipe up, right? I will. I'm going to work on it because I have been using the free Dove's Farm free, free um, self raising flour. Harley was getting on to me about my banana fritters, which she was telling me that they're pancakes. And on reflection, I can see why you'd feel like that, although I disagree. But I think you could use that kind of the basis of that to create a good pancake. pancake. Um, and I'm using that flour, some egg, well, yeah, a nice golden yolk egg. <laughs> if you can get one. Uh, some milk, mm. um, sugar. I like to add a bit of vanilla. Th- well, they're fritters, so I wouldn't add all of that to it. Like yeah, cinnamon, don't... nutmeg. I'm not really into that. I like a plain yeah. pancake. But I have a non-gluten-free pancake recipe, recipe. Yeah. on my Instagram as well. If you scroll, it's an old video. We'll um, share some stuff. I've got a more in-depth yeah. tutorial as well about how to make for pancakes on my YouTube channel. So I'll put mm-hmm. that in the description and I'll link straight to a couple of our reels and TikToks and things like that. Yeah. Done over. But if you're celebrating, enjoy. Yeah. Pancakes or waffles quickly before we go. <sighs> Can you have a waffle on pancake day? No. No? no. Strictly pancakes? Strictly pancakes. Okay. But you know when I can, can have a waffle? What? Today. Really? A oh. Belgian waffle or the normal American style? I'm, a, Bel- I'm a Belgian waffle babe. I don't discriminate. Discriminate? <laughs> <laughs> is that a word that's what Rick Cross said oh <laughs> well, no was it Rick Cross or Future one of them two I don't, is that. I don't discriminate <laughs> I don't discriminate um, American I like yeah. it when they come off the like the yeah. riddle thing <laughs> okay I love a Belgian a Belgian waffle to be honest well I just I just went to Belgium like two weeks ago and yeah. it was delicious mm-hmm. I just think it's a bit small <laughs> okay <so. laughs> It's kind of yeah. It's a snack. We had it as a snack. And oh, I, a I snack. went to Belgium. I had quite a, a big one. Mm. Um, maybe because we. I don't know. But maybe. Yeah. But yeah. Pancakes, please. Lovely. Well, have a lovely pancake day. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next food occasion we can find to celebrate. Honestly. <laughs> Bye. Bye.